It's time for our daily devotion, daily daily of abiding in Jesus Christ. In the book of John chapter 15 verse 7. If ye abide in me, and my words abide in you, ye shall ask what ye will, and it shall be done unto you. A daily devotional ministry project of Christo Gojino Gaga from passages taken from the Holy Scriptures with quotations from the Spirit of Prophecy by Ellen G. White. Daily daily, daily abiding in Jesus Christ. July 5, 2020 Ephesians 2 verses 8 to 10 For by grace are ye saved through faith, and that not of yourselves, it is the gift of God, not of works, lest any man should boast. For we are his workmanship, created in Christ Jesus unto good works, which God hath before ordained that we should walk in them. Quotations from the Spirit of Prophecy There are those who profess to serve God, while they rely upon their own efforts to obey His law, to form a right character, and secure salvation. Their hearts are not moved by any deep sense of the love of Christ, but they seek to perform the duties of the Christian life as that which God requires of them in order to gain heaven. Such religion is worth nothing. When Christ dwells in the heart, the soul will be so filled with his love, with the joy of communion with him, that it will cleave to him, and in the contemplation of him, self will be forgotten. Love to Christ will be the spring of action. Those who feel the constraining love of God, do not ask how little may be given to meet the requirements of God, they do not ask for the lowest standard, but aim at perfect conformity to the will of their Redeemer. With earnest desire they yield all and manifest an interest proportionate to the value of the object which they seek. A profession of Christ without this deep love is mere talk, dry formality, and heavy drudgery. Steps to Christ, pages 44, 45. It is not the length of time we labor but our willingness and fidelity in the work that makes it acceptable to God. In all our service a full surrender of self is demanded. The smallest duty done in sincerity and self-forgetfulness is more pleasing to God than the greatest work when marred with self-seeking. He looks to see how much of the Spirit of Christ we cherish, and how much of the likeness of Christ our work reveals. He regards more the love and faithfulness with which we work than the amount we do. By Ellen White, Christ Object Lessons, page 402. Our prayer for you today. Dear God, you are all-powerful, creator of the entire universe, and creator of all humanity and the angels and most lovingly, you are our Father. At this moment we approach you with awe and reverence because you are holy, just and good. Thank you for saving us by sending your only begotten Son, Jesus Christ who died the eternal death to save us from our sin by your grace. You saved us not of our good works. You save us as freely from our sins through the faith of Jesus Christ by believing and accepting Him as our personal Lord and Savior. Today, we pray for the indwelling of Jesus Christ and the Holy Spirit in us. Thank you for answering our prayer because we ask in the name of Jesus Christ our Lord and Savior. Amen.